My name's Emily Nicholl. I work for DEFRA, that's the Department of Environment for the UK National Government. My job title is Senior Scientific Advisor, which means I provide scientific evidence for policy in the area of air quality. As a scientist, my job is to provide evidence so that policies are sound and robust. But the main aim of my job and DEFRA and air quality as a whole is to, to reduce pollution so that we can protect the human health and uh, effects on ecosystems. Specific roles which I have are reporting to the European Commission on the UK's progress. I also look after the UK's largest air quality monitoring network with 130 sites. And I have a responsibility for maintaining the evidence base. This is all the data about the pollutant concentrations all around the country. So when I graduated, I was offered a job as an environmental consultant doing air quality. This was at Faber Bornsall and I stayed there for four years learning all how to be an air quality consultant. So that was technical knowledge but also project management and business skills too. I then decided to take a six month secondment to the Carbon Trust where I really enjoyed working for a not-for-profit organisation. Here I learned about other things like carbon management and low carbon technologies. It was at that point I decided I wanted to switch sectors and move from the private to the public sector but go back to air quality. And at that point I saw a job advertised at DEFRA so I applied for that and got taken on as an air quality scientist. The advice I'd give to people starting out in the field would be to do a science degree, uh, preferably something that uh, involves environmental science or perhaps chemistry or biology and then to go on and take a master's degree in something you really like to specialise in. From there, when you start to look for your first job, pay attention to your CV, make it really specific for the job you're going for, but also don't rely on recruitment agents because many employees will not pay recruitment agencies to get graduates in when they're overrun with applications as it is. So find out who you want to work for, find out the exact person that would be responsible for that position and target them. I would say to anyone starting out in the field that environmental sciences are a really good career path. You can get employed straight from university, you can get training on the job, there are lots of external training opportunities as well, and you can grow through your career, you can decide whether you want to work in the private sector, the public sector, you could even stay in research, and you can really make a difference if you get to work where the policies are instigated and come up with strategies that affect the UK, Europe or even the whole world. 